Hello everybody and welcome to a tutorial that's going to teach you how to install LS54 for Grand Theft Auto 5. What LS54 does is it allows you to become a law enforcement officer inside GTA 5. It's absolutely amazing. You can also become EMS and fire, uh, but them are different plugins. Today we're just showing you how to install the basics for LS54 so you become law enforcement. So, for those of you that do not have Grand Theft Auto 5, I highly recommend getting it through Steam. So, this tutorial is going to show you how to go ahead and install LS54 through Steam if you are just getting Grand Theft Auto 5. So, you just bought it and you just got it in Steam. What you want to do is go to Legacy. The reason why I say Legacy is because if we go right here, it says LS54 should be installed Grand Theft Auto 5 Legacy Edition. The enhanced version is not supported. So you want to start off with the legacy and what you want to do is if you're just getting the game you want to go ahead and go inside the game and you can pause this video go inside the game beat beat the first five missions so what you want to do is the first mission is michael and trevor robbing the bank in north yankton and then you switch over to franklin and lamar and franklin has to do a couple missions for the dealership so once you are done doing the first five missions you should be able to free roam as franklin and when you are able to free roam as franklin you can go ahead and pause the game save the game and then you can go ahead and start this video and you'll be able to install ls video far for those of you that already have it installed we're going to go ahead and get started so what you want to do is go to grand theft auto 5 legacy you want to right click on it go to manage and browse local files that's going to pull up your gta 5 main directory it's very important that you know where that is so up here at the top this is going to be your route to grand theft auto 5 main directory so just remember where that is. We're going to walk through this here in a couple seconds. So now we're going to go back to LSVFR's main page and we're going to go ahead and get into this. So a big, big shout out to the creators of LSVFR. We love you so much. Thank you all so much for what you have done for us. I've uh, been playing this for years and it's done a lot for my channel. So big shout out to these guys. And again, 19 million people have downloaded this. So this download is completely safe, but I'm going to read this off to you. Some antivirus software programs mark ls 4 and or Rage Plugin Hook as a virus. This is known as a false positive. Okay. So sometimes your PC will see a file and be like, no, we, you, you don't want to download that, but you're going to have to go and keep anyways. So I'll explain that here in a second. So what we're going to do is click download this file. We're going to go ahead and scroll down. And we're going to go down here to the bottom, hit agree and download. You can read the user agreement. That is up to you. But we're going to go right here to agree and download. We're going to go right here where it says setup. So we're going to go to setup. We're going to click download. Just like so. We're going to let that download for us. Now, what I was saying by keep anyways is sometimes your PC up here will say um, it will give you where it's not allowing you to download the file. And then it will give you three dots over here. So you click the three dots and you can go in and click keep anyways and it'll allow you to download the file. So we're going to click open file right here, just like so. We're going to click yes. Now I've downloaded this file so many, so many times because Rockstar comes out with updates and you have to re-download ls 4 and stuff, which I'll explain that in another tutorial. Um, but my PC is like, screw it, go, go for it. Um, so again, this is not a virus. 19 million, I've downloaded it. I, I based my YouTube channel off of ls 4 So uh, you are safe to go ahead and download this file so we're going to select language obviously i'm going to go with english i'm going to click ok we're going to click next we're going to click i agree and we're going to click next now right here it wants to know where your gta 5 main directory is so what you're going to do is click browse just like that we're going to pull up our gta 5 main directory again you could get to that by going to steam going to grand theft auto 5 legacy go to manage and browse local files i'll pull up your gta 5 main directory and this is the route to it up at the top where you see my cursor at so what we're going to do is I'm going to take this, move this up. I'm going to go right here and I'm going to follow these steps. So it starts off at this PC. So I'm going to go to this PC. It says Windows C. I'm going to click on Windows C. It says Program Files x86. I'm going to click on Program Files x86. And then it also says Steam. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down and find Steam. But then it says Steam Apps. So we're going to go down and go to Steam Apps right there. It says Common and Grand Theft Auto 5. So Common grant the auto five i'm going to click on it once just like so i'm going to click okay so as long as you have it directly like yours is so how you see mine is not going to be the same as yours you have to make sure you follow your path to your grant the auto five main directory as long as you put that in there go ahead and click install because if you install it incorrectly it's not going to go ahead and install it in there you're not going to be able to play ls video far so we're going to click finish and we're going to go right here where it says configurator we're going to click next 
We're going to go to show license. We're going to go ahead and let that go through. And it's going to pop up rage plug and hook for us. We're going to go in and click I accept. So click accept right there. And then we're going to go right here for do it for me. I'm going to click that. And just like that, LSPFR has been installed successfully. But we still have some more steps. So we're going to click OK. And I'm going to go in and enlarge my Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. So I'm going to walk you guys through some steps in here to kind of help you before you get inside the game. So for LSPDFR, you want to go inside the LSPDFR folder that's inside your GTA 5 main directory now. You're going to go inside here. You're going to go to the LSPDFR file. You're going to right click, go to edit. You're going to go up here to the top where it says true, and you're going to type in false. So you're going to change true to false. What this does right here, if you do not change it over to false, it's going to make it where you're going to have texture loss inside the game. I'm not too sure why it does it and why it's set to true, but I change it to false and it prevents texture loss unless you have like a lower end PC. But this right here is going to help you out a lot. So I'm going to click file and I'm going to click save just like so. I'm going to go up here to the top and we're going to see a file that says keys. So what you want to do is going to click on that. And right here it says perform uh, frisk key so it's the letter q so that is for searching people you got stop the peds the letter e so what this does these are all the keys that you're going to use to be able to be a law enforcement officer so it allows you to go ahead and do a traffic stop right here so traffic stop start key is left shift key so anytime you have a question on how to you know search people grab people arrest people and all that stuff this is the file that you want to go to it will give you all the answers that you want uh, cause I know on my last tutorials, everyone asked me, and I just want to make sure I point this out. This is where you want to go. If you have any questions on how to search people, grab them and all that stuff. Now there are other, um, plugins out there that make it a lot easier than this right here, but this is just the basics. And I do have tutorials for that stuff, but I'm just showing you guys the basics. So right here, this is where you're going to want to go. You can either print that out, put it on your second monitor, or you could just keep it in there and pull it up whenever you want it. So we're going to go ahead and go back to Grand Theft Auto 5. We're going to go ahead and download Script Hook V real fast. I'll have this link down in the description, the same as LSPDFR. So we're going to go to Script Hook V. We're going to go right here to download, and we're going to click download. Script Hook V is going to be very important for a lot of stuff that you're going to be using. Um, for now, it's uh, mainly for ELS, but that's in the future for you, but you already have it. So I'm going to click open file. We're going to go inside bin folder. Now, I use WinWar to open up my zip files. You can also use 7-Zip. Um, that's up to you. But you are going to want something to open up your zip files. We're going to take these four files. Do not take the text file. Take these four files right here. You're going to go ahead and drag and drop inside your GTA 5 main directory. Place files and destinations since I already have them. And we're done with that download. So, now what we're going to do is go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. And we're going to go right here where it says Rage Plugin Hook. What you want to do is double click on that going to go and open up for us it's going to be a first time setup and you're going to go right here where it says plug in timeout threshold you're going to go ahead and change that over to 60,000. okay that gives you time for your game to load up without plugins causing your game to terminate or close so change it to 60,000. we're going to go to plugins load these plugins on startup which is ls video for our first response i let this go through for the first time setup and then once i'm done with the game and have my players set up I don't load any plugins on startup on the next time. But for now, you want to do load these plugins on startup, hit save and launch. Click OK. And we're going to go ahead and get inside the game. So it's going to ask you if you want to allow this map app to make changes. I'm going to go ahead and click yes. And that was for Steam. And then we also have uh, Rockstar asking some questions. So I'm going to click yes and click yes. So now we are going to go ahead and start the game up. You guys are going to see that Rage plugin hook is going to have a logo up on the starting screen and all that stuff. So I'm going to let all this go through exactly how it's supposed to. I'm not going to cut anything. So we'll let this go through. If you guys are new to the channel, if you do me that one favor, hit that subscribe button. Help this channel reach 100,000 subscribers. That would be amazing. I'm at 80,000. I just hit 80,000. I would love to get to 100,000. Uh, that would be amazing. I have tons of tutorials on this channel to show you guys how to install a lot of stuff to make your game a hundred times better, to make it more realistic. Now, what you guys want to do right here, obviously, you cannot take any mods online. So, you always want to go to story mode with Rage Plugin Hook. So, you're going to go story mode with Rage Plugin Hook, and it's going to load up like this. So, you're going to see Rage Plugin Hook setting the game up. Um, so, you can see right there in the middle, and then it's going to go ahead and cut us over to the game. Now, I've already beat a lot of missions for Grand Theft Auto V storyline, uh, the story mode. So 
I'm going to be coming in as Michael. But again, if you're just getting Grand Theft Auto 5 and you did them first five missions, uh, you should be Franklin. So that doesn't really matter if you're Franklin, Michael or Trevor, uh, as long as you are uh, just through the first five missions that they make you do. So again, I'm coming in as Michael. So we're going to go ahead and it's loading LSPFR for us. So you see in the right hand corner, it's loading LSPFR for us. So we'll let that go through real fast. And we'll be inside the game. All right. So it already puts us at a police station. So say you're not at a police station. All you want to do is go and hit F4, type go to PD, just like so. And it's going to take us back to this police station uh, right here, Mission Row. So now that we're at Mission Row, what you guys want to do is go ahead and walk inside. So once you guys walk inside right here, we're going to go over here to the locker rooms. So you're going to walk over to the locker rooms. You're going to walk inside this door right here. You're going to have this blue circle right here. So what you want to do is hit E to open the locker room. And it's going to ask you to go on duty. Uh, then it's going to have you set up your character. So you're going to want to set up your character. It's just like GTA Online where you choose your mom, you choose your dad, you choose your name, and your character comes out. Um, so once you're done with that, you're going to have police locker. Uh, in here, you can change your uniforms up, go cop, and all that good stuff, however you want it. Uh, we're going to click confirm right here, and then we're going to go to police garage. Now, I am going to have different mods than what you guys have. You're just setting up the basics, so I have actual vehicles in here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab me a vehicle. And we'll go over here to components, and we'll turn everything off. Just like so, and select and continue. So I'm going to walk you through some more basics of LSPDFR. So we are inside the game. Now for you to use your um, your lights and everything, it's going to be the letter E. Me, I have ELS in, so uh, I use the letter J. But for you, until you get ELS in, installed for your actual vehicles, um, it's going to be the letter E for you. Okay. So now that we are in law enforcement, we can go ahead and press the, um, my uniform's all messed up. I use EUP, so it makes it where I can go ahead and change my uniforms up. Um, but what I like to do is I like to go ahead and so once you come back inside the game, since you have your character all set up, what you guys can do every time that you come inside the game, you don't have to go to the police station. You guys can just type in reload all plugins. So hit enter just like so. So after you set up your character, since mine's already set up, every time that I come inside the game, no matter where I'm at on the map, I don't have to go to the PD. I can literally just set my stuff up where I'm actually spawned in at. So I like to do reload all plugins. And what this is gonna do is bring my character back and then I can go ahead and type in force duty. So we're gonna go ahead and type in force duty after all that loaded up, we're gonna type in force duty. And what that does is it's gonna go ahead and put us on patrol and load in all of our plugins. All right, so now that we have that, I'm going to go right here. Obviously, I use EUP, which changes my uniforms up, and I have different vehicles that I use. Um, but for now, you guys are in there with all the basics for LS Video Far. You have your character, you have your police vehicles, um, just the regular default ones. Um, now, if you go right here, I'm letting all my plugins load up real fast. Um, but if you hit the letter M, it's going to bring up this menu for you. So if you go right here where it says police radio and you go right here and click request call, it's going to give you a call. If you, if you press the letter Y, that is going to make it where you can respond to that call. So I just hit Y, the letter Y, and if I hop inside my vehicle, you're going to see it's going to give me a route to the actual call that just came in. Now my radio is a lot different than yours. Uh, believe me, there's so many mods and plugins that come with this, but again, you're just setting up the basics. Now, um, say I don't want that call no more. Say I want that call to go away. I don't want to see it no more. I don't want to go to it. All I have to do is go to M, hit police radio, and I can go ahead and request another call. All units, we've got a possible 148, close to- um, Just east of Sanders motorcycles. 
just like that. On Adam's Apple Boulevard. Now, some more mm -hmm. basics for it. You guys can go right here to police radio. You can do chest, you can do earpiece, you can do handheld, or you can do shoulder. Okay, however you want your guy to go ahead and hit the radio and stuff, uh, that is how you change that up. But for the most part, you guys have LSP to far in. You guys are able to get out here on the streets and patrol and all that good stuff. Now, if you guys want to spawn in a different vehicle, you can hit F4, type in uh, police, or you're going to want to type in, sorry, spawn police. So you could do spawn police, hit enter, and just like that, it's going to bring your vehicle out in front of you. So say I want police two, you go in and type spawn police two. And just like that, it's going to give me the vehicle. I'm going to hit F4 again. And there we go. We have police two in. So say you're out in the county and you want to do your patrol out there. You could type in F4, type in spawn sheriff, just like so. Hit enter. And just like that, it's going to spawn the sheriff unit in for you. But there it is, guys. Definitely check my channel out for these vehicles, how to set your lights up, how to get sirens in, how to get uniforms in, how to get your backup units to wear your uniforms. There's so much more stuff, how to get graphic mods in, all that good stuff. I also have this beautiful menu right here where you can change the time and all that good stuff, uh, which is called Simple Trainer. So you guys just got the basics installed. You're gonna want more, believe me. There's a lot more out there that is uh, gonna make your game so much better. You can also use Ultimate Backup where you get a K9 partner. You can also get an actual partner that comes in with your actual uniform. So I could spawn a partner in one of my player's outfits. So that is going to be ultimate backup, stop to pet, and CompuLite uh, that you're going to want to install for like backup units and how to get in the computer system and put charges on people. But for the basics, you guys have LS Video Fire installed. I appreciate every single one of you coming by. Y'all stay blessed, stay safe out there. We'll see you all in the next one. Peace.